today then has passed over us by the mercy of what Jesus did, by the shed blood of Jesus, we have passed from death to life. Hallelujah. Glory be to Jesus. Amen. Before we sit down, I just want to read from the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 3 and verse 10 as we honor God's servant in our mix this morning. We honor our, our, our Father. It says, according to the remarkable grace of God, speaking about Paul, it says, according to the remarkable grace of God, which was given to me to prepare me for the tax, like a skillful master builder, I lay a foundation and now another is building. I'm reading from the Amplified on it. He said, but each one must be careful how he builds on it. Hallelujah. Just like it was said of Paul, we are saying it of our Father in the house of God, in the house this morning, that there is a remarkable grace of God upon his life, a grace to build. Hallelujah. A grace to build life, a grace to build destinies. And we are honored, we are privileged, and we give glory to God for the opportunity to be planted and to be rooted in this ministry, to be located here to be joined together with him in this ministry so we celebrate and honor you father our, our father in the lord hallelujah and we continue to pray that the grace of god upon your life that remarkable grace is our season of fullness and and the grace of god and so we declare the fullness of the remarkable grace of god to increase in your life in the name of jesus let's celebrate god's son this morning Hallelujah! Is that all you can do? Let's do it with a clap and a shout! Glory to God, you can be seated. Thank you for being in church this morning. Thank you for defeating the cold, defeating the winter, and being here in God's presence. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you for honoring God's word that says, forsaking not the gathering together of one another as is the custom of some. I thank God because it's not your custom not to come to God's presence, but it is your custom to always come to his presence. The Bible said Jesus went to the temple and in winter as it was his custom. So whether winter or summer, we come to church. Amen. We come to God's presence. Nothing stops you. Nothing hinders you. You are in charge of the we, uh, the weather. Hallelujah. Amen. So you have your internal temperature. Hallelujah. So you do not allow the external to determine your, your commitment and your fellowship. So I really celebrate you this morning for being in God's presence. Put your hands together for yourself. Celebrate yourself. Hallelujah. Please, 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 please. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. All right, quickly this morning we're taking our Holy Communion. Uh, and I'm going to be quick because we're going to be reading a lot of scriptures. Let's look at 1 Corinthians chapter 11, verse 23. We will just read through quickly, quickly. 1 Corinthians chapter 11, verse 23 to 25. It says, For I have received of the Lord that which also I delivered unto you, that the Lord Jesus, the same night in which he was betrayed, took bread, and when he had given thanks, break it and said, Take it, this is my body, which is broken for you. These do in remembrance of me. Hallelujah. These do what in remembrance of me. So God wants you to be conscious of the things that he has done in Christ Jesus for you, not for him. He knows what he has done for you. But for you, he wants you to keep it in remembrance so that you continue to see, to hear, and experience the fullness of what he has done. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord Jesus. And he says, after the same manner also, he took the cup when he had supped, saying, this cup is the New Testament in my blood. This do ye as up as ye drink it in remembrance of me. Remembrance again. Hallelujah. God wants us to be conscious of what he has done for us in Christ Jesus. And so I'm going to be talking about uh, uh, walking in the consciousness of uh, the redemption that we have in Christ Jesus. 
walking in the consciousness because if somebody is always on your mind, you will always remember that person. And if something is always in your mind, you won't be forgetful of that thing. And so we also have a pattern in the Old Testament when God told, the, I mean, concerning the instruction God gave to the children of Israel. Hallelujah. Let's look at Exodus chapter 13, verse 1 to 10. We're going to read quickly, quickly. Exodus chapter 13, verse 1. It says, And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, Sanctify unto me all the firstborns, whosoever openeth the womb among the children of Israel, both of man and of beast, it is mine. Why? And Moses said unto the people, Remember this day in which ye came out. Remember that word again. Remember. Keep in memory. Because the children of Israel, the ancient children of Israel, were always known for forgetfulness. They easily forgot, or they, they have this thing of easily forgetting the goodness of God, the mercy of God, the almightiness of God, whenever they are faced with opposition. And he says, remember this day in which ye came out from Egypt. Don't forget what God has done for you. He said, out of the house of bondage, I delivered you from the house of bondage. I need you to remember. He said, for by strength of end, the Lord brought you out. Other translation says, by the outstretch of hand. So when you hear that outstretch, it means God really, really did something huge there. He said, for by strength of hand, the Lord brought you out from this place. There shall no living bread be eaten. Praise the Lord. Remember, we are taking our communion this morning. We are taking which typifies the body and the blood of Jesus. Let's go ahead. He says, this day came ye out in the month, Abbe, go ahead, and it shall be when the Lord shall bring thee into the land of the Canaanites, and the Hittites, and the Amorites, and the Hivites, and all the times. He said, which he swore unto thy fathers to give thee a land flowing with milk and honey, that thou shalt keep this service in this month. Just like we're observing in this service, the communion, God is calling them, this is what I want to do for your own good. I need you to remember. And before we started, also we're instructed, do this as often. Remember what I've done for you. Go ahead. He says, and seven days thou shalt eat on living bread, and the seventh day shall be a feast to the Lord. Go ahead. He said, on living bread shall be eaten seven days, and there shall no living bread be seen with thee, neither shall there be living, seen with thee in all thy quarters. Go ahead. This is talking about communion. And thou shalt show thy son in that day, saying, This is done because of that which the Lord did unto me when I came forth out of Egypt. Keep this service every year. I need you to do this so that you will have what to say to your children. They can see what the Lord did for them. Go ahead. And it shall be for a sign unto thee upon thine house, hand and for a memorial between thine eyes that the Lord, Lord may be in thy mouth for with a strong hand, that strong hand again, the outstretched hand of God again, has the Lord brought thee out of Egypt. You see, it keeps ringing it in their ears, keep emphasizing, this is what I've done, I brought you out. Go ahead. And Thou shalt therefore keep this ordinance in this season from year to year. We are in this season. Hallelujah. It's not a coincidence that we are in this season. Today marks the, 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 the starting point of our con convention week. So it is not a coincidence that we are taking the Holy Communion this morning. Hallelujah. Let's look at um, Exodus chapter 12. Just laying down foundation quickly exodus chapter 12 21 to 27 quickly exodus chapter 12 then moses called for all the elders of israel and said unto them draw out and take you a lamb according to your families and kill the passover lamb and we know jesus is the passover lamb go ahead and ye shall take a bunch of hyssop and dip it into the blood that is in the basin and strike the lintel and the two side posts with the blood that is in the basin and none of you shall go out at the door of his house until the morning. Go ahead. 
For the Lord will pass through to smite the Egyptians. And when he seared the blood upon the lintel and on the two side posts, the Lord will pass over. He will pass over. Same thing that happens to us in redemption. So every time we talk about the communion, it's showing us our redemption in Christ Jesus. And it says the Lord will pass over the door and will not suffer the destroyer to come in unto your houses to smite you. Hallelujah. Same thing to us today. Then has passed over us by the reason of what Jesus did. By the shed blood of Jesus, we are passed from death to life. Hallelujah. And so it's telling them, calling them to remember us of what has been done. Go ahead. Go ahead. Um, all right. And you shall observe this thing for an ordinance. He's still calling them. This you will do. Observe it for ordinance to thee and to thy sons forever. Keep doing this for your own good, for your own remembrance. It stays in your memory. I need you to be conscious of what has been done so you don't lose sight. So it stays an ordinance. Hallelujah. Let's go ahead. Let's look at uh, Exodus chapter 10, verse 21. Exodus chapter 10, verse 21. And the Lord said unto Moses, Stretch out thine hand toward heaven, that there may be darkness over the land of Egypt, even darkness which may be felt. Now, showing you distinction, and because of the communion, because of the blood, there was a distinction between the children of Israel and the Egyptians. The same place, the same country, but there was a war, there was a supernatural war of protection, demarcation, separation from darkness. In Egypt, they had darkness, they had disease, they had all kinds of things, but for the children of Israel, it was different. There was light. So remember, even in this day, because of what Jesus did for us, there is a separation. The Bible says, when they say there is a casting down, you are not part of the casting down. There is a lifting for you. Why? Blood has been shed. The price has been paid for you to be distinct, for you to be separated. So this communion today is a communion of distinction. You are separated. It's a communion of exemption. Whatever destroys out there, you are exempted from it. Whatever corrupts out there, you are exempted from it. The price has been paid for you to live the best. The children of Israel and Egyptians were living in the same land, but they were living in the best. Washington was flourishing, it was green, it had everything. There was no sickness there, there was no disease there, there was no lack there, there was no poverty, there was no flies, there was no darkness. These people were in darkness, but on this side of Washington, there was light. The Bible says, even darkness which may be felt, they felt. We are not talking of road shedding. This this was beyond notion. A darkness, move forward. He said, and Moses stretched forth his hands and towards heaven, and there was a thick darkness in all the land of Egypt. Three days, go ahead. He said, they saw not one another. The darkness was so thick that even when lights came, when they lit their candle, the darkness swallowed the, 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 the light. It swallowed their candle. He said, neither rose any. Three days they were in one spot. Nobody could move. Nobody could stand up. No one could go to the bathroom. Everybody was at a standstill. But it was different. And so that when God calls to remember, do not forget these things that I did for you. How I dealt with Egypt, dealt with your enemy, how God dealt with Satan on your behalf. He said, do not forget those things, they are not for decoration. Those things are reality today. He said, remember it so that you keep it in your memory, you see it, you hear it, you experience it. It becomes your reality, you walk in the consciousness. 
Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Next scripture. Next scripture. We have Isaiah chapter 63 and verse 12. He says that led them by the right hand of Moses with his glorious arm. Glorious arm. Again, you see the arm of God dividing the water before them to make himself an everlasting name. God did that to make himself. He said, I will gain glory for myself. So he did that. Not just for you, but for his sake, for his name. He said that I may gain glory. Let Pharaoh pursue you and enter the deep sea, but I will gain glory. Now it doesn't matter whatever things is disturbing your life thus far, God will gain glory. I said in this season, God will gain glory. Because all of your enemies, anything that stands up, that rises up as an enemy before you, they will be drowned by the reason of our communion. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Whatever has stood in your way, whatever has called you back, by the reason of the shed blood of Jesus, by the reason of what Christ did, they are drowned now. By the reason of this communion, by the reason of the shed blood of Jesus, by the reason of his broken body, whatever has afflicted you thus far, whatever has stood in your way thus far, in the name of Jesus, the death Drown now, they are drowned now by the Lord of Jesus. They are destroyed now by the Lord of Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah. It is the blood of redemption. It is the blood of redemption. It is the blood of redemption. It is the blood that has brought you back. That blood brought you back. That blood redeemed you. It redeemed you from bondage, just like it did for the children of Israel. It redeemed you from slavery. The Bible says that God delivered us from the kingdom of darkness. He translated us into the kingdom of his destiny. In whom we have redemption through his blood. We have redemption through his blood. Even the forgiveness of sin. The blood of Jesus is against every infirmity right now. The blood of Jesus is against every affliction right now. The blood of Jesus is against every disease. Every sickness, every malfunction, the blood of Jesus, we speak against it now in the name of Jesus. The blood of Jesus is against every resistance now. The blood of Jesus is against every opposition right now. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Lift up your hands, lift up your voice, lift up your heart. Receive what redemption. I stand for you in Christ Jesus. What the blood of redemption. I stand for you in Christ Jesus. You are about to take this communion this morning. You are about to take the body. You are about to take the blood into your body. As it gets into your body, as it gets into your system, it becomes a mystery. Everything that is mysterious in your life ends now. Every affliction ends now by the mystery of the blood of Jesus. By the mystery of the blood of redemption. Everything that has not been planted by God in your life, the blood of Jesus comes against it. We speak the blood of Jesus against it. We speak the blood of Jesus against every pain. You go now in the name of Jesus. Every captivity, you lose your hold. Every bondage, you lose your grip. Every body be lifted by the blood of redemption. Be lifted in the name of Jesus. Every closed doors open by the blood of Jesus. Open by the blood of Jesus. The price has been paid. Jesus paid the price. Jesus redeemed us. In the name of 
Jesus. Every heaviness be lifted in the name of Jesus. Every fear be destroyed by the blood. Be destroyed by the blood. Be destroyed by the blood. There's an impartation going on right now. There's an impartation going on right now. By the reason of what Jesus has done. By the shed blood of Jesus. Your destiny is being corrected right now. Destiny being aligned right now. Everything that has been done against your life from the pit of hell be destroyed now. Be destroyed now by the blood of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I'm not able to do all my scriptures, but do the last scripture, Hebrews chapter 9 and verse 10, as we go to bless the communion right now. Hebrews chapter 9, verse 10 and 11. Hallelujah. 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 The blood has been shed. Legally, nothing has the right to hold you down. Hold you bound. This must work for you. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. It's forceful advancement yes. by the blood of Jesus. Yes. You must advance. Yes. You must move forward. Yes. You must grow. Yes. Your life must become better. Yes. Your generation must hear you. Yes. In the name of Jesus. Yes. You walk in your hands. Yes. The blood has been shed. Somebody died. You cannot go and pass. You cannot go and walk forward. You cannot go and walk up to In the name of Jesus. He says, We stood only in meat and in praise. And diverse washes and carnal and carnal ordinances imposed on them until the time of reformation. Go ahead. Verse 11. But Christ. But Christ. But Christ. All other things were done before then. Nothing was but Christ. Hallelujah. Everything you've been doing thus far has not worked but Christ. Look at Christ. Remember what he has done. That his blood is still efficacious till today and forever. The blood is still effective till today. Keep your eyes. He said, remember. He said, but Christ did come. Hey, as an high priest. Of what? Of good things. This is a communion of good things. Take this communion. Expect good things to happen in your life. Expect favor in the name of Jesus. He said by a greater and more perfect tabernacle, not made with hands. That is to say, not of this building. Go ahead. Go ahead, go ahead. Not of this building. Next verse. Next verse. Verse 12. Neither by the blood of goats and calves, but by his own blood, he entered in once. Once. Your case is a done deal. It's settled. Everything about your life and your destiny is not about any man. Christ did it. He says by his own blood, he entered in once into the holy place, having obtained, having obtained, having obtained, having obtained, having obtained eternal redemption. He bought you back. He paid the price to buy you back from loss, from destruction, from sickness, from disease, from devastation. By the blood, he obtained eternal redemption for us, for you, for me. <laughs> Come on, go ahead and celebrate. Go ahead and celebrate. Thank you, Lord, for eternal redemption. Thank you for eternal redemption. You brought me back from the slave master, the devil.
devil. You brought me back from his sickness and disease. You brought me back from his poverty. You brought me back from shame, from disgrace, from limitations, from hindrances. No more limitations. I move forward. I advance hopefully by the reason of this communion. I advance. I step into a new season, a season of new horizon, a season of great possibilities, a season of abundance. Lack is banished from my life, banished from my lineage. Impossibility is banished from my path. Death or tell death is banished from my life. In the name of Jesus, let's take the elements now. Take this communion and know that nothing stops you. Nothing hinders you. Wherever no has been said to you, it turns for good, for yes. You cannot be denied anything because the blood of Jesus brought you back he bought your redemption. He bought your freedom. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He took the bread. He broke it. He blessed it. The bread is blessed in the name of Jesus. The wine is blessed in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. These are chemicals. This is chemical. This is the blood. We have the real deal. We have the substance on the inside of us. The Bible says Christ has been made for us wisdom, redemption, sanctification, righteousness. So in us is redemption. Redemption is a person, which is Christ Jesus. So you have that substance. But why do we do this? To remind you of what you have on the inside and of what has been done for you. So we declare this blessed. Take it. Step into your season. Nothing hinders you. Nothing will stop, stop you. No man, no woman will be able to stand before you to stop you, to hinder you in the name of the Lord Jesus. You take charge. You are in charge by the reason of this communion. You are redeemed from all darkness. You are redeemed from all affliction. And so in Jesus' name, Father, we thank you for this blood. We thank you for the bread. And we take it knowing that in our bodies, it becomes a mystery. It destroys the root of limitation. It destroys every affliction. It destroys every bondage. And the Bible said, by the strength of Jesus, we were healed. We take this and it works healing. It goes into our bodies, it goes into our flesh, it goes into our cells, it goes into our nerves. It begins to repair, it begins to correct everything that needs to be repaired and corrected in our bodies in the name of Jesus. Take the bread in Jesus' name. This is a chemical, it's why. But when we take it, it becomes the mystery. Hallelujah. It becomes mystery on the inside of us. The mystery of the blood of Jesus Christ. We are not taking this because this is the blood. But it represents and reminds us of what Jesus has done. Your sins are forgiven. Hallelujah. You are redeemed. It goes into your bloodstream. It flushes out everything that needs to be flushed out. It becomes the blood of Jesus in your bloodstream. Hallelujah. Now take it in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. Give him praise. Give him praise. Celebrate him. Thank you for what you have received in your body. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah.